Okay, yes, your flawless attendance at yoga class is impressive, but that's not the kind of consistency that impacts your credit score. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, but seriously, I have to go. It's, it's time for the show to start. Okay, love you, bye. Welcome to the Red Desk. Want to know what credit scores have to do with buying a house? I got gotcha. you. Just so we're all on the same page, credit scores are a measure of how much someone can be trusted with money. Lenders use them to decide how much to charge someone for a loan. And as you can imagine, this is a big deal for housing since houses are like the biggest purchases most of us ever make. Credit scores range from 300 to 850. And roughly speaking, 580 or higher is decent. 670 is good. 740 is great and 800 plus is like, whoa, you are pretty dang responsible. If you wanna see how scores are calculated and learn more about improving yours, you can do that in our Credit Scores Explained video. The credit score you need to buy a house depends on the type of loan you get. Conventional loans are the most common mortgage type and they aren't backed by any government program. Conventional loans are the usual choice for people with a credit score above 620 or so and require a down payment of at least 3%. If you're not quite at 620, you could possibly get denied, pay higher interest rates, or may need to wait until your score improves. If you're around 620 or lower and don't have much saved up for a down payment, an FHA loan could be the answer. These loans are insured by the Federal Housing Administration and are easier to qualify for. The minimum score can vary by lender, but is often 580. And you have to plan on the house being your primary residence. In other words, you can't use FHA loans to pay for an investment property. For a VA loan, if you're a vet, current service member, or qualified spouse, then there's no defined minimum credit score to buy a house but a lot of lenders still have a credit score floor. For example, Rocket Mortgage requires a 580 or higher on both FHA and VA loans. Okay, now that you know what credit scores you need for different loans, you gotta figure out your credit score. You may already know it, but if not, our friends at Rocket Money have a cool tool you can use that tracks your Vantage score. Here's a link. Okay, so you know your options and you know your score. But say it's around crunch time and you want to get your credit score up to either lower interest rates or be able to qualify for a different loan. Here's what to do. Pay off outstanding debt. Paying off debt improves your credit score in a few ways, like adding to your payment history and adjusting your debt to income ratio. Whatever you do, don't miss any payments. If you can, set everything to auto pay. Pay at least the minimum amount. Tell your mom to call you every morning and remind you, I don't care. Just don't miss one. Also, don't add a bunch of credit right before you buy a house. It could put your ability to qualify at risk as it will raise your debt to income ratio and affect how much house you can afford and possibly the types you could be eligible for. I know you wanted that Volkswagen van so you could bohemian your way to Portland, but please, please, just wait. If your credit score is too low to qualify for a loan, but someone you could co-sign with has a higher score, that could be your ticket. For example, if you have a median score of 580 and your co-signer has a 720, the average credit score would be 650. Obviously, that's a huge decision to make with someone, but hey, it's good to know. By the time you're looking at a house, it may be kind of late to do much with your credit score, but it's still worth weighing the cost and types of loans available to you now and in the future if you wait to boost your score. The right decision, as always, depends on your needs, your plans, your life. So make a list of your options and go from there. Want to learn more about how to improve your credit? Head over to rocketmoney.com learn for more great tips. Thanks for checking us out today. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, guess what? You can click right here and as always, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.